Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. So I just want to say something to a very special auntie of mine who lives all the way in Algeria and this is for you. Hi Asiya, Ushraki Lebes and that's it. <laughs> I hope she gets the message now, I'm going to send it to her. So yeah, so one of the most important things about this um, cycle is that now I'm finally praying my Juma prayer. So today is Friday, I'm actually just defrosting my car right now. It's completely frozen and I'm just kind of looking forward to going to the mosque for the first time in a long time. So that's my big ambition. Yeah, so after the Friday prayer, I'm going to just look forward to I'm going to actually see my brothers I haven't seen in a long time. So looking forward to seeing you guys, all the people that's there, my parents. I'm actually going to see them as well. So it's a very big day for me. I'm really happy to see everyone. Guys, you know, after you do your chemotherapy, always stay positive because there's always good things to look after. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always promises us, you know, ease after hardship. And this is mentioned in the Quran as well. So, alhamdulillah, we should always stick by our principles, stick by our guidance, stick by the, the rules governed to us. And, you know, inshallah, everything will be fine, guys. You know, that's what it is. We just have to be strong, God willing, and everything would happen over a period of time. And look, I'm actually starting to get my facial hair back. That's a plus for me. Now, I'm going to switch the camera around and show you guys what happened at the hospital. It's going to be brief. It's going to tell you my actual chemo cycle and exactly what went down. The most important takeaway is that now I might be doing radiotherapy in January, which is a big plus. So everyone going through chemotherapy, you'll eventually do radiotherapy. And this would hopefully mostly reduce your cancer dramatically. So guys, stay positive. You know, if you're going through this journey, the end is near. You know, the end is near and most of the time is good. If you stay strong, if you have a lot of positive energy, your body will react to it. Trust me. Hey guys, and welcome to another video. <laughs> you copy me now. <laughs> That's how I sound, don't I? <laughs> oh, I can zoom out. So we're just about to start your scenes, I think six cycle, right? Like, yeah, this is chemo number six, guys. Six out of 14, so we're almost there. Almost halfway. Sorry, the alarm just got... Um, just so apologize me. One of the patients needs the nurse. Anyway. So you've seen, we just spoke to the doctor, we should have an update now. Mm. So we've seen a picture, um, so we can insert clips of the v, of the scan results. And they're showing a huge difference, alhamdulillah, between the tumours. Yes. But there is, um, do you want to give an, uh, how you feel about actually the video, you, uh, of, no, the images, what you saw? Yeah, so uh, one lung was completely white and another one was completely black. So the black is the oxygen, so that means how much air is going through. So that means half my lungs are blocked. Was other one just filled with like some play doh looking substance? Yeah, this is what you learn in medical school. Yeah, it's play tumors actually played his really like play doh. <laughs> For some reason, the chemo took out most of it. So most it's of play doh. Yeah. So you guys have confidence in the chemo, you know. Have confidence in yourself. Be positive about it. Mm. So what they told us is some of the tumors may not be gave, they might be able to get rid of it with just chemo alone. What? Shall we for the alarm to stop? <laughs> it's not going to stop. Okay. Well. What they said was on the sh uh, so you seen likely to get rid of the one on his shoulder, they may have to do surgery with radiotherapy, but Ooh. that's not even guaranteed. But that also means if the, he does go with the surgery, his shoulder is going to be limited to movement. Move your shoulder now. How's it feel? It feels fine. So right now, my personal feeling is uh, if you, if things are going well, just keep going along with the flow. I want to keep taking the chemo and just the radiotherapy. They believe that the um, chemo alone is not enough to get rid of that uh, tumour in his shoulder. The On chemo. chemo number nine, we're going to come back uh, to speak to the surgeon and uh, to speak to a surgeon and to speak to um, a radio, radiotherapy specialist and see. Yeah, radiotherapy specialist. Yeah, and let's a radiologist. See. Radiologist. <laughs> So inshallah, we'll see if they, what they say about the shoulder. Uh, but the lungs, they said no matter what, they said um, likely the chemo is unable to remove all the tumours. Okay, I'll close the door. Okay. 